Welcome to part 6 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series. In this quick video, we are going to build off of the functionality learned in part 5 and learn to use some more advanced detailed drawing procedures like creating an auxiliary view, section view, inserting a break, adding dimensions, and text to your 2D drawing. Just like in part 5, start by creating a new drawing from your 3D CAD model. Define the base view of your part and define the scale to use, in this example 3 to 1. Next, use the projected command and finish the creation of the other views. After finishing the projected views, highlight each one and move them closer together to save us some space on the drawing. Next, delete the isometric view. This will give us even more space to display the auxiliary view, which can be defined by choosing the auxiliary command from the ribbon, selecting the base view, and then dragging the mouse to the top right corner. You will see the preview of the new view as you drag, and when you're happy with the placement, left click and press OK to finish. To make more space, select the front view and choose to delete it. From the Place Views tab of the ribbon, choose Section. Left click at the top of the base view and then again at the bottom. Right click and choose Continue and place the section view of the drawing. By left clicking and dragging on the line that you just created, you can automatically update the section that you will be displaying. A quick Ctrl Z will return the section view to the original look. Again from the Place Views tab, choose the Break feature. Near the rectangular hole in the center of the side view, left click and place the break in the drawing. You will see two lines indicating a break. This is useful for larger drawings with long straight segments. The break feature will reduce the amount of space the drawing takes up, but will still dimension the line with the actual length. Finally, we're going to add some dimensions and text to the drawing. From the Annotate tab in the ribbon, choose Dimension. Select the top and bottom lines of the side view and place a dimension with a left click. Now, choosing the text feature from the ribbon, click on the title block in the bottom right corner and insert your name. Here you can choose to modify font, text size, placement, and more. With that, you're now ready to create detailed part drawings. Join me again next video for part 7 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series where I'll take a look at how to edit existing CAD geometry.